Hello, my name is Aaron. Welcome to Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. This is an unboxing and component overview of Sagrada. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you the back of the box real quick here. Um, got 90 colorful dice uh, and some other good stuff. Let's go ahead and open this up. Why do I always have trouble with this? There we go. I got this for six dollars at a local thrift store, uh, which is a pretty good deal. Okay, so this is just a beautiful cover, um, and the components uh, based on the back of the box are just as pretty. So we have our instructions here. Um, have a thing that I'm guessing tells you to how to get replacement parts should you need them. Uh, a small catalog for their other games and expansions. This game has, I believe, three expansions as of now. I think there's another one uh, set to release this year. We have the scoreboard. And, oh, this is interesting. These are, um, they have a glossy finish and texture to them. Uh, I was expecting the more traditional uh, kind of matte uh, finish to them. Uh, but I guess it makes sense uh, given that it's stained glass, so it's kind of shiny. And these are the player boards. They have recessed uh, slots for the cards that you put into them. So you get some different colors there. Four of those. Uh, these are some punch outs. And you get the cards right here. Let's go ahead and open those. Really not too many of them. And apparently I am also having trouble opening these. tricky because you don't want to bend the cards. Um, yeah, and these are these are thin, uh, but they do go inside the board, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, 12 seems, I guess technically there's 24 because they're double-sided, uh, but you can always get the expansions to add more. So those go there, and then you get uh, the I believe these are the goal cards, or objective cards rather is what they're called. So let's open these up. Again, just that's that same artwork continued on uh, throughout the components. I appreciate that. Um, there's quite a few games where uh, the box looks pretty, uh, but the inside, on the inside, the art is completely uh, different from what you get on the front. This is not the case here. Uh, so we get some communal objectives. Uh, we get the uh, tool cards. These have the photo of the Sagrada Familia right there on it. And some more of those more tool cards. I like the uh, kind of architecture planning uh, vibe that those have to them. And some more objective cards. Um, yeah, there's that. It looks like everything has a nice spot here on this insert. Okay, we have a dice bag with the name of the game right there. And we get the dice. Uh, so these are small dice, uh, which makes sense. There's a lot of them. Um, and you get 90 dice. So there you go. And everything fits 
nicely in there. You got these glass beads, uh, which are pretty standard, uh, but nice, better than plastic. Uh, and yeah, it looks like everything kind of fits nicely in here. And yeah, so that is an unboxing and overview of Sagrada. I look forward to playing it. Uh, it's one that's kind of been on my radar for a while, uh, but I never really felt like pay paying full price for it. Uh, so I'm excited to try it out. Uh, if you want to catch that video, uh, be sure to subscribe to Board Games, Bricks, and Hobbies. Take care. Bye. Thank you.